route this morning to a very different kind of weather. The change in weather led to a change in our plans. So let's talk about the weather change in our plans. <laughs> We've, uh, we had intended to get up early this morning and near to where we're going to rejoin the Blue Ridge Parkway is a mill called Maybury Mill and it was, uh, the, or it is, a very, very scenic stop on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's sort of mill pond, old mill house with the water wheel, set in a very scenic setting. It's beautiful and Chrissy wanted to paint it if she could. I was going to try. I'm going to try and paint it. Yeah, but uh, not now. We have seen it before, many years ago, and did manage to get a very nice photograph of it in good weather. Um, we expect, well, we were expecting it to be quite busy there today, given that today is a Saturday. And, uh, but now, most people are sitting tight, I think. <laughs> so, we are having our coffee. We're going to have a leisurely breakfast. We've decided to have a bit of a lay-in and we've been told that this rain should clear up around 10 o'clock this morning but it's going to sort of stay drizzly all day so our journey down the parkway today is only 80 miles and we don't think we'll be stopping at too many of the viewpoints as we're not going to have much of a view uh, but we will go to the mill we'll see what we can do there uh, but we're not expecting great things We've booked a campsite, haven't we? We've booked another campsite tonight, Stone Mountain State Park, which is in North Carolina. We crossed the border from the state border Virginia. from Virginia to North Carolina today. And um, we've had to book that because, it, well, see, like, last night, we, when we went to book this campground, like, this campsite last night, there were three available campsites for us to book last night. And yet half the campsite is empty. People just don't turn up. They make a booking and then they don't turn up. So um, tonight there was one spot left open at the campground we're going to. We booked it, but um, I fully expect there to be a lot of empty spaces when we get there. But after tonight, from, we're winging it. We'll just yeah, we'll just travel and find somewhere because <laughs> we then know at this time of year and on a non-weekend day we should be uh, able to find a campsite quite easily. Yeah. So breakfast, coffee, pack up, hit the road. Well, we haven't yet made it to the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, we're working our way there from the campground right now, but we've gained about a thousand feet in height since we've left the campground. And we've just come around this bend and there's a pull in for a viewpoint. And this is called Lover's Leap. So uh, I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but there's a lot of graffiti around here. A lot of, because this is Lover's Leap, a lot of people have come and left messages of, uh, of love, meaningful comments for each other. And there's one here that's, you know, very, very touching. Oh. Welcome to Fox Hunter Paradise Overlook. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that with a name like that, the view from this overlook must be spectacular. Well, no, it isn't. It might be on a clear day, but today has been, it's been a funny old day. We've been in and out of cloud. We've had sunny moments and then very cloudy moments. We were very fortunate when we arrived at Maybury Mill that the sun was out. It was busy, but not too busy. Uh, the car park was quite uh, full, uh, but people wandering around the mill didn't seem to get in our way too much for photography and videoing.
what we have noticed today is that where we, in the early part of the drive we were on a very much on a ridge looking down into valleys is that despite being actually at a higher elevation now um, it's starting to open out and there's a lot more farmland as we pass through we're passing through farmland and I think that's part of what this drive wants to uh, demonstrate here showcase here is the the simplicity of the life that people would have led like Mrs Puckett so just a few miles north of Maybury Mill is what is known as Puckett Cabin. And this cabin was the home of Aurelina Hawkes, Aurelina Hawkes Puckett. Now she was born in 1837 and she lived here towards the end of 102 years. Now, she became a bride at 16 and her and her husband originally farmed just below here uh, Groundhog Mountain but Mrs Puckett when she was past the age of 50 she began a long career of midwifery and she assisted at the births of more than 1,000 babies delivering the last in 1939 the year that she died and it has been said that she never lost a child or mother through her own fault but ironically, none of Mrs. Puckett's own 24 children lived beyond infancy. We have today passed the 200 mile mark on the on the parkway and we've also crossed out of Virginia and into North Carolina and I would guess that we've got roughly another 30 odd miles on the parkway to do today before we turn off and head to our campsite tonight which is Stone Mountain State Park hopefully uh, as we keep driving the sun will start to come through but we're just grateful really that we don't have the rain. Shh. We continued our journey south and Chrissy kept me both informed and entertained with her surprisingly strong knowledge of the Blue Ridge Parkway. So Chrissy, here comes a bridge. Yesterday you gave me a fun fact about tunnels on the Blue Ridge Parkway. What can you tell me about bridges? Oh, bridges. Right, the parkway is carried across streams, railway, ravines and crossroads by 176 bridges and six viaducts. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It turned out that that was the last fact of the day, as shortly after we arrived at our campground for the night. Stone Mountain State Park. Good morning. Morning, morning. Day, day six. Yes, day six. Um, those keen observers of you might be wondering what happened to day five? <laughs> well, day five, as my good friend Arkwright used to say, was a funny old day. Um, we went through what could be argued one of the most scenic parts of the Blue Ridge Parkway and the weather was pretty good, cold but bright uh -huh. and, um, but we did it on a Sunday in the peak season yeah, in, with the fall colours coming out and there was a lot of people. Uh, pretty much cars lining the road both sides. Um, parking space is all full, but we managed to hit the most popular part of the park <laughs> at the most popular time of the year. Don't do it on a weekend. And uh, well, it's full season. Yeah. Everybody was on a Sunday, everybody was out. So we blasted through really. We, we, we looked, but we didn't spend a lot of time stopping. We just kept going. And we went to our campground last night, which was Black Mountain Campground. And that, was right down there in that valley. It was a beautiful little location. Yeah. 
yeah. and with this morning we've left the campground and followed a dirt track by the stream all the way up that valley and rejoined just a mile or so down here the Blue Ridge Parkway. 352 mile post. 352 and the whole thing is 469 long so yeah. we may finish it today probably not we probably finished just a bit short of it um, we're not sure we, we haven't any fixed destination in mind tonight we should just keep driving uh, it's such a shame today because the, at this elevation the higher you go the more colors um, and I'll just swing you around in a minute and show you some of the uh, colors mm. on, on the behind us over here um, but unfortunately the sun's not on them mm, clouds uh, very low. yeah low cloud today maybe it'll shift later we we will uh, at some point later on today we will be passing through I think it says the highest point of the Blue Ridge Parkway north of Asheville in North Carolina and I think the elevation there is around 5,400 feet but then beyond Asheville, south of Asheville, I think there's an even higher elevation which we may or may not get to today. Uh, so we'll press on. I'm hoping that Chrissy will be able to throw a few more fun facts my way. Oh, don't bank on it. And we'll see <laughs> what other see what other beautiful <laughs> locations there are Goodness. to see on the Blue Ridge Parkway. One of the things that we've talked about is that we haven't seen a lot of wildlife. We've seen a couple of deer, but um, surprised we haven't seen more deer, Chrissy. Yes, and uh, a little Brucey bonus fun fact that the parkway borders on five designated US wilderness areas, so I am surprised that we haven't seen more wildlife. I know it's not much to look at, but this is our first snow of the year. I'm here at the Mount Mitchell overlook and it is flipping freezing. My other half has decided to sit in there and drink her tea and um, sent me out because we've seen snow on the tops of these mountains and by the time I got the camera ready and the microphones ready to come out and film the clouds come in and you can't see a thing so you have to take my word for it there is snow on the top of these here hills and we're just over 5,000 feet so as the sign says we are at the funnel top view. So we are a little over 5,000 feet. It's sleeting and the views are now non-existent. We are very near to the end of the, our, our journey down the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, it's a shame that we're ending this journey in bad weather. Uh, as you can hear it's, it's still busy now. It's not as busy as it was yesterday but uh, it was busy. So it's been a little, after what was a great start, it's been a bit of a disappointing end. Um, we have been chatting about where we go from the end of the Blue Ridge Parkway and we think our next stop now, tonight, is likely to be Georgia state park in Georgia. With only a few more miles left now before we turn off and head south uh, I would say we would probably look back on this journey as a whole and say it was very enjoyable and Chrissy you can switch off and relax now as um, I don't think I'll be needing any more fun facts. Oh thank goodness for that. You've done very well though. Thank you. Uh, it's cold. It is. Let's, uh, let's call this a wrap and get back in the car. Yeah. Come on. All we knew initially was that we wanted to head south towards warmer climes. But a plan came together when we became aware 
of campsite availability on a number of much sought after state parks in the Florida Keys. We spent a total of 14 nights in the Keys and the highlight for us was a couple of wonderful wildlife experiences. But my favourite wildlife experience came at Curry Hammock State Park when this little fellow arrived on the scene. Chris? <laughs> Is it like with grizzly bears where you play dead? Push him off then if you're not happy. You got a new friend? With Christmas fast approaching, it was soon time for us to head back to see family and friends in the UK. We will see you again sometime and somewhere in 2024. Thanks for watching.